Welcome to BotBiz. In this video, we'll show you how to set up automated WhatsApp notifications when you receive a lead through Facebook lead ads. So, let's get started. Section 1, Getting Started with Pabli Connect. First, open your Pabli Connect dashboard. Next, click the blue Create Workflow button. Give your workflow a name and choose the directory folder where you want to save it. Then, hit the Create button. Now, you'll see two boxes in front of you, one for trigger and one for action. In automation, it's all about triggers and actions. The trigger is when something happens, and the action is what you want to do in response. Section 2. Setting up the trigger. For the trigger, select application as Facebook lead ads to connect your Facebook ads account. Choose the trigger event as new lead and click connect. A sidebar will open with two options, add new connection and select existing connection. If you've already connected to Pabli Connect, choose the existing connection. If not, select add a new connection. Add a connection name and click connect. Then, log in to your Facebook ads account. Once authorized, scroll down to the page field and select your page. Also, select the form you want to use example, contact submission form. Click save and test request. It should be waiting for a webhook response. To test the trigger, go to developers.facebook.com. Click on my apps and navigate to tools. Click view all tools scroll down and click on lead ads RTU debug tool. Choose your page, select your form, and click Preview Form. Fill out all the details, and click Next, and submit the form. You'll see a message saying your test lead has been sent. Now, let's go back to Pabli Connect where you'll see that the data you filled has been received successfully. Section 4, Setting up the action. With the trigger set up, let's move to the second step. Choose API by Pabli as the action. Select Get as the action event. For the endpoint URL, go to the BotBiz dashboard. Go to Bot Manager, Choose your number and go to Message Templates. Create a template that will be triggered when someone fills out the form. You can find detailed instructions on creating message templates in the video description. Click on your account icon and choose API Developer. Scroll down to Generate API Endpoint. Choose your number and select the template you want to use, example, contact form submission. Type name in the field to fetch the name from the contact form. Click Get API Endpoint. Now, copy the Get Request example and paste it into the endpoint URL on the Pabli Connect dashboard. For mapping the name and number of the user who submits the form, Remove name value and choose the name from the map data. For the number, click at the end of the line and choose number from the map list. That's it. Click on save and send test request and wait. You should see a message saying template message sent successfully. Now, the entire process is complete. Great! You can see that I've received the message. That's how you send template messages when a user submits a Google form using your Pabli Connect account. Thanks for watching.